How's it going guys? I finally got a single board computer for some different projects of mine. You guys have probably heard of the Raspberry Pi. I think that's still the most popular SPC to date. In fact, it's so popular that it's not in stock anymore. You can't get it from any of the official vendors that sell the Raspberry Pis. Uh, the only places I really know of that you can still get them is third party. Like you have to get them through Amazon or eBay. And of course the people that are selling them there are selling it for a markup. Now I don't know all the details about why these new Raspberry Pis are still so expensive. It seems like the prices of them started going up around the same time that graphics card prices started getting out of control, but I highly doubt that anyone is mining cryptocurrency with these things. Uh, maybe the chip shortage is just still really hurting and affecting the SPC industry more than the GPU industry, but regardless of the reasons why they're so expensive and why there's a shortage of Raspberry Pis, the result is the prices of the pies are too damn high. All right, paying this much money, I mean, look at some of these. Let's try to find something that's like, yeah, this one here is like almost basically just the pie plus the POE hat, which I think is only like 15 bucks anyway. They want $102. This is too much, okay? That's too much to pay for a pie, especially if you were going to be using these SBCs to design some kind of custom appliance that you're gonna to sell to people, because obviously that's gonna raise the prices for each of those units. Or let's say you wanted to buy a whole bunch of pies and put them together in a cluster. It's too unreasonable to do that for more than a hundred bucks. Plus the Raspberry Pi 5 is probably gonna come out next year and be cheaper and better than these marked up Pi 4s. Which brings me to this little guy. This is the Rock Pro 64 made by Pine64, same company that makes the Pine phone. And this is currently available and in stock on their website. This is the four gigabyte model, as you can see from the 4G written here. And this one retails for 80 bucks. So the connectivity of these Rock Pros is very similar to the Pies, but there are some important differences. So the Rock Pro 64, it does not come with any onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. But there is an add-on card that you can buy from Pine64 for $15, and it's going to then give you that wireless capability. Now, of course, both of these single board computers have gigabit ethernet. They both have the 40 pin GPIO headers. They both have uh, where is it? Here it is. They both have micro SD card slots and they both have USB ports. But one important difference is that the Pi does have an additional USB 3.0 port. It's got uh, two USB 2.0s and it's got two USB 3.0s and it's got one USB-C which is also used for powering the Pi. Whereas the Rock Pro, we've got those two USB 2.0s. You can see those are the white ones there. It's got one USB 3.0, the blue one there, and then it's got the one USB-C. So the USB IO is definitely better on the Pi's. Although one thing to keep in mind is that because the Pi's USB-C port is also used for powering the Pies, you're going to have to make sure that any USB-C adapters that you choose to use with the Pi are going to have pass-through power so that they can still uh, power the device. Unless, of course, you go and buy that PoE hat add-on for your Raspberry Pi and you power it over Ethernet. Uh, and then as far as power goes for the Rock Pro, that is the power input right there. Uh, so not USB-C, definitely a little bit less convenient. Uh, but one of the big things that the Rock Pro does have is this PCI Express slot right here. Let me actually zoom in on it a little bit for you guys. So this is a little bit of a game changer on the Rock Pro. This gives you some serious expansion options. Uh, like if we were to take a look back at the accessories page. We can see that they have some things like this NVMe uh, interface, the PCIe 
uh, X4 because it is four lanes of PCIe that you have here. So it looks like this would be able to power one, uh, yeah, it looks like just one NVMe or one um, M.2 card. And let's see, it was PCIe 3.0. Okay, interesting. Or maybe this adapter is. Because I think I was reading something that the uh, PCI Express generation is 2.0 on the Rock Pro, but maybe it's three, not entirely sure. Or there's other adapters, not sold by Pine64, but by other companies where it'll take your PCIe X4 and turn it into eight SATA ports. So that would be really, really handy if you're going to be setting up a NAS. I mean, that's gonna give you eight hard drives to connect. That can give you a whole lot of storage. I think we're up to what, 20 terabyte hard drive. So yeah, that's a whole lot of storage. That's probably more than your average at-home person is gonna need. I mean, you're definitely well into data hoarder territory at that point. Or you could probably find a PCIe network card that has several ports on it, like maybe it's got four gigabit ethernet ports on it. That would be a great add-on for turning a Rock Pro 64 into a DIY router build. And that actually would uh, saturate your PCIe if it is indeed PCI Express uh, 3.0. If it's 2.0, then maybe you don't wanna set it up as a router because you're not quite gonna get gigabit over each of those ports. Uh, but those are just kind of some off the top of the head ideas that people who buy these things, and these are some things that I might try to do uh, with these single board computers. So yeah, having PCI Express on board is really helpful. I think that the Pi does technically have PCI Express, like the board does support it, but there isn't a PCI Express card slot that's really convenient to use like the Rock Pro has right here. So I guess you would just have to I don't know, either connect an adapter to the Pi or maybe wire it up directly, uh, your PCI appliance to the board. So yeah, this is definitely a board for you to consider if you're like me and you've been looking for a single board computer to use for all kinds of little projects like uh, the Pi Hole. That's probably one of the more popular projects that people have used Raspberry Pis for, Linus Tech Tips. He even did a video about it years ago, but boy, has that has that video aged poorly since he thinks you're a pirate if you block ads. But yeah, if you wanted to block all online ads network wide, then instead of using a pie hole, you could use a rock hole. And yeah, I think the instructions would more or less be the same for setting that up on a rock pro. Oh, and another great thing about these rock pros SBCs is that they actually come with hexacore processors inside of them. It's a hexacore ARM processor. So that's quite a bit more multitasking capability that you get with this compared to the Pi's or especially compared to a lot of other SBCs because the Pi 4 uh, it Model B is a quad core. And that's actually pretty good by SBC standards because a lot of the other ones are dual core. That, that tends to be more common. And that additional processor power is gonna be especially important for what I think is gonna be the first project I use this SBC for, which is gonna be turning this into a Tor relay as well as running an I2P relay from it. So you chads out there who have been long-term subscribers of this channel, you know that I run a Tor relay off of a ThinkPad at my home. And I know, as a relay operator, it's a very important job. It's just me and a few thousand other people pretty much keeping the entire Tor network running, protecting you from being spied on. But my ThinkPad only has an Intel Core 2 Duo for its CPU. And that appears to be the resource that was running out when running my nodes and the different processes on the computer. Like I would notice several times both CPUs would be at 100% usage and usually it would happen whenever the traffic that my relay is routing spiked. I know that's not really an exact science to figure out the bottleneck, but that's the only resource that is really lacking in that setup. Like the ThinkPad is eight gigs of RAM and so it's never running out of RAM. It's got a solid state drive. It's connected with gigabit ethernet, which is really the whole reason why I want to make sure I eliminate all of the bottlenecks from my relays because I don't just have a gigabit LAN, I get roughly gigabit speeds from my ISP. So I might as well 
use my leftover city slicker internet to subvert glowy surveillance and help uh, the Tor relay, the, the Tor network and the I2P networks out one packet at a time. But I'll keep you guys posted on the performance of that. And if it does end up being any better than my ThinkPad, and if there's any other SBC projects that you guys would like me see to do a video of with the Rock Pro 64, just let me know in the comments below. But that's it for this video, guys. Like and share to hack the algorithm and have a great Thanksgiving.